I checked out of my room and I How booked I a grab for, um, well, from near where my place was at. I went to the nearest, uh, actually I went back to I'm Melody Apartments like as a pickup place. Um, one thing to know that if you're uh, booking a, a grab to pick you up at Melody Apartments, there's like a, a driveway between the buildings. That's where you wait. It's at the back of the lobby. That's where the cars will pick you up, not out on the street. Here it's about uh, 12.20 and my ferry is at uh, 2 p.m. So I got plenty of time to get there. Um, I have my ticket saved on my phone. It's got the little, uh, whatever that Q uh, square pattern thing is, QR I think it is. And uh, so they'll just read that from my phone and I'm all set to get the ferry back to Back to Saigon. Well, I'm here at the terminal, uh, again, for Green Line's uh, ferry. And for once, I'm actually early. Uh, I'm usually kind of cutting it a little bit close. Uh, one time, I even uh, cut a flight six minutes before the cutoff time uh, to fly out to Davao. But today, I'm actually an hour and a half early. Um, I'm here at the pier. I asked the boat dude uh, who I saw, you know, coming by this way I showed him my ticket and he said yeah 2 p.m. it's about 12 30 p.m. right now but yeah that's the ferry that I'll be taking over to uh, to Ho Chi Minh City and looks like they have there the distance uh, a statue on that rock formation it's a cool idea some people out there taking selfies and uh, anyways yeah so um, I'll share with you a little bit, uh, hopefully I can, uh, I got a seat on the side of the ferry that faces the shore, uh, that way I can hopefully share with you some of the view, hopefully the window will be clear enough that I can share that with you. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of hang out, I ordered some yogurt with strawberry, um, just to kind of tide me over, I already had that big bowl of pho this morning, so uh, yeah, just going to hang out and get on the ferry and ride on home. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, what you see that I have here is all I really needed for, um, let's see, actually a whole week, which is just, um, again, my, my lock tote bag, which I, I store and keep all my electronic stuff. And then, uh, and then just the other black uh, uh, backpack, which is for my clothes. And with like three shirts and you know, basic toiletries and stuff. Um, I mean, I could have even just washed my clothes and gone on for another month, really. Um, it's pretty easy to move around when you're traveling light. Now I'm over here to check out this thing, uh, this statue over here at the, uh, the rocks. And uh, see if I can get close to it. Oh, what's this over here? Looks pretty cool. I just noticed this. They got some uh, birds in here. I guess this is a restaurant. Um, they have lights hanging from the trees. Yeah, this is a restaurant. Maybe they open it up uh, in the evening. Looks pretty cool. Nice decor here. Oh, and they got some uh, some koi down there, and uh, nice little places to eat. Cool idea. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get back over by the pier and uh, get ready to. Um, oh, here's a here's a restaurant here place to eat indoors and take a look at the menu here 
Uh, let's see. Looks like they have uh, fish, uh, red fish, silver fish, bigger silver fish, goofy looking fish, eel, eel, some other fish, a really ugly fish, long fish, and then a whole diff bunch of different types of crab, crab type things. And prices are, let's see, about like this one here that's roughly about 25 maybe 26 bucks right about there uh, this one here would be about same thing about 20 24 dollars maybe again just kind of off offhand I know it's a little bit plus or minus there uh, let's see the lobster you're looking at about 80 bucks maybe 75 I'm sure it depends on the weight Usually with uh, seafood, when it comes to lobsters and crab, they, they'll weigh it by the kilo and determine the price that way. Okay, well it's time to get on the ferry. They scanned my code off of the, the, uh, the phone. Hello. And uh, verified my ticket that way. And I did all that online. I ordered the ticket online. So... Hello. Ugh. Hello. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a nine. I think it's 19 E. see 19e so I'll be able to take a look around pretty spacious pretty big nice So we're here in Saigon and and I'll check the time here in a minute and you can see uh, how long it actually took. We left there at 2 p.m. And here we are back in Saigon. Now, let's see, that right up there is the Batexco building. Uh, it's one of the distinct buildings here. Well, it does feel good to get out and travel. It also feels good to get back to your home base uh, back here in Saigon. And they've got a coffee shop here. Now, the great thing is that um, this terminal, this here where we landed here in Saigon, it's only about, um, I will walk through here, it's only about maybe hmm, five, ten minutes uh, from my apartment. So I'll catch a grab, be back at my apartment, and uh, and then just kind of chill out. I'll probably uh, just take a hot shower to relax and then I'll, and then I'll go out to dinner. Um, Anything that could have spoiled, I ate before I left in my apartment. Oh, no, thank you. And um, I've got some stuff frozen. But uh, so I'll, I'll just get back to the apartment and, uh, like I said, unwind. And then I will go ahead and uh, go out for dinner, probably at one of the malls or something. And if I'm really, really feeling lazy, then I will 
uh, just get some grab food delivered. So anyway, so this is it. Uh, this is where you come out at uh, here. And beautiful Saigon. So, uh, and here's the pier, uh, looking at it from this way. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get back home and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.